I was only 10 years old, but I could tell that my father was a cheater. I think I was the only one noticing that. I never had the confidence to tell my mother. I thought I'd be making things worse. I also didn't want to make him mad. I was my father's favorite out of three girls. He would mostly do good things for me, took me with him wherever he's going, even if he's going to see some of his women. I found out later that my mother knew, and all along, like me, she never said a word. Since I grew up with three sisters, most of my friends were girls. When they went looking for me and couldn't find me, my mother would say, he's just like his father. I never knew whether she was defending me or criticizing me. I never talked to anyone about how I felt and about the situation at home. Now that I'm older, I think about how he put me and my mother at risk since he was cheating on her before I was born. Then my father suddenly had a car accident and he was unable to walk or do much by himself. Sometimes I think that was the right thing because he might have gotten HIV. My mother took care of him, even though his mother blamed her for all that had happened. After my grandmother's death, I could see that my father wanted to say something to her. I knew what it was. He wanted to say that he was sorry. I don't know what was stopping him. Ever since I joined the HIV and AIDS Learners Network, I can see that I've made a right choice and I'm not the only one who's benefiting from it. Even my sisters now know how to protect themselves. I couldn't speak up for my mother and I at that time, but now I can. I feel like if I had said what I wanted to say back then, maybe today I would have been telling a different story.